Hey guys, Freeze and for we here, and welcome back to more Paper Mario. Last time we beat up Junior Troopa, this time we are getting to star something. Hey! Oh boy, okay, so this is when the game starts to throw in a lot of tough enemies. Luckily though, we can blow them all away. Oof! I said it would be a seven, but I didn't screw up there. Hang on. Sadly, I didn't equip the hammer that does the power quake. But whatever, we'll just murder these guys with our star storm. Oh, we leveled up! <laughs> That's convenient. You never have too much bad points. Okay, we got three more, so... Hmm... Oh, I can add more health. Uh, nothing really that big here. Like, let's equip Power Quake, but... Other than that, it's like, meh. Hey. How's it going? damage would do if I jumped. Oh, he does eight! <laughs> I, I forgot about that. Boop! Oh, dang it. These chomps are so hard to predict. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, yeah. At the time of recording, we have five more days till Smash Ult. God, am I excited. Boo! What the heck is this thing? Turn back. Come no further. Turn away or I'll eat you. What do you think? Scary monster, aren't I? You know you want to run. Uh, we gotta fight you, pal. What? You'll regret this. Okay. What the heck is this thing? Monster. Oh, Monstar. Hmm? This monster. Even I don't know what it is. I don't even know why. I don't know why, but it looks really terrifying. I had a funny feeling I had a nightmare about it. Max HP 20, defense 0. I don't know its attack power, but it must be very powerful, judging by its looks. Okay. Bring it on. Yeah, Star Storm? <laughs> and it did one attack! Are you scared yet? <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified. Can Gubario finish him off? Yep, he has just enough. Take that! Mon Star. Okay. I don't know what to really say. No! Run away! Oh, you're just a bunch of twinks! Well, not Twink, but you look like Twink. Yeah, you guys better run while I follow you. Oh. Ah, you're Mario, yes. Thank you for coming. How do you do? I'm called Murray. I care for the star children, uh, star kids born here in Starborn Valley. There are many things I must tell you, but not here. Come, let's go to my house. I cannot concentrate out here in the cold. This way, please. Follow me! No problem. I must apologize for the rude, re, rebunctious re, reputation of the Star Kids. I never expected that you come here so quickly. They fear strangers to try to keep this valley safe. Oh, they frighten strangers to try to keep this valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. They're forgiven. Just, you know. Oh, come in, please. Like, they're cool, they're just trying to protect their village. Their village. Now Mario, you must heed well what I'm about to tell you. Oh, you're not gonna be long and boring like your dad, are ya? This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. They named this because it is here that star stars are born and rise before 
and ready for rising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole the Star Rod from Star Heaven, the power of that, that place has weakened and Star Kids have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. I sent a ninja to my father, Mar um, uh, Mer Merlin, hoping that I could contact you to come here. Uh, I don't know what I said. I just call it contact. Anyway, because I found out where the last star spirit is. It came to me in a dream, a vision from the last star spirit, begging me for help. If my mission speaks true, then the last star spirit is being held upon Shil Shiver Mountain, which lies to the north. Up top sits the Crystal Palace. The star spirit awaits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars. I say star spirits, the stars. But as time passed, it slowly faded from the memories of local people. And now, no one can remember how to reach the place. There is a way though, and it involved items that have been passed down in these lands. Here, take this. This scarf has been passed down through many generations in Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. According to legends, you must use this and another item that has been passed down in Shiver City. If you hope to open the way to the Star Palace, sadly, that's all I know. If, this thing, if things remain as they are, Star Kids will never again be able to rise to Star Heaven. Such a fate would be awful. Please help them expel Bowser from the castle. I mean, from the sky. Wait, well, yes, it's Mario. I almost forgotten. There's supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path to the Crystal Palace. Legend has been held down in this valley regarding the shine secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes, sometimes even the walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you must find the shine and solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. Please don't forget it. Okay, we gotta get into that palace. You found me! Hehehe. <laughs> what? Did you see me glittering? Hey, do you think I can rise to the sky soon? Okay. I'm looking for the star kids. They, they're behaving pretty well. That's a relief. Probably because they believe you'll get the star rod back. I surely hope you do. Tell me a story. Tell me a story about the time you saved the star spirit. Somebody read me a story. It was all about how stars and star heaven grant people's wishes. I wonder what Twink is doing. Do you think Twink's doing fine? Doing fun stuff up there? I gotta say, you don't really see that many stars be people in the Mario universe. Oops, sorry. Okay. We're gonna do a quick heal. Please get the back of the star rod from Bowser Mario. Wish the kingdom deserves to be at peace. Good luck. I don't know why there's two toads here, but okay. But yeah, I'm going to do a skip because we basically have to walk all the way back to Silver City and that's annoying. So, one, two, three, skip. Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick little thing. So yeah, look, he froze solid. I just find it really funny. You can't free him for some reason. You would think an explosion or a rock would do it, but eh. Anyway, back to more cutting. Okay, we're back. I believe we need to talk to this penguin to get into the palace. Oh, Mario, did you read Starborn Valley? Did you see Marlene? Oh, excellent. He said, what? I know that's been passed down in the city. Oh, all right. There was something like that. Just a minute. I think I got it somewhere. Yes, I found it. Here it is. This bucket has been passed down for the years in Shiver City. As Murray must have told you, there's a legend associated with it. If you use this and the scarf together, the way to the Crystal Palace will open. Who knows what all that means, though? <laughs> I don't have the singlet. I don't have the slightest clue as to how to use them together. Sounds like this. Sounds like those Star Kids in Star Brown Valley are in trouble. I hope you do your best for the little tykes. They're just kids. Best of luck to you. And more cutting. Okay, we're back. So, in case you haven't gotten the subtle hits, I mean, not hits, hints this place has given us, what is something that's like all over town? 
snowman. So, give him a scarf, give him a bucket, and the path shall open. A cool bucket hat, thank you. A warm scarf, thank you. What a kind man you are, we thank you. And as a reward for your kindness, we shall tell you our secret. Yeah, so for one, these snowmen were alive, okay? And then after that, we freaking get the palace entrance. So these snowmen are guardians? Okay. Please pass through here with many thanks and blessings from the snowmen. Yeah, another block. Okay, uh, let's get Bombad out here. Nope. Yes, Mario's not heavy enough to press the button. Hey! Ugh, nothing like blowing up you guys. Actually, hang on. Eh, not enough. I mean, I can still nuke you, but you're still gonna be like... Oh wait, no wait! She does seven, okay. Man, I'm shooting a lot of money here. I got the enemies in my way. Do I have like a star? Harder to get these items. That'd be really helpful. Luckily, though, all this fighting is giving us coins, so I'll soon be able to purchase more badges. Well, that's it for that coin. What? Ooh. Boom. <laughs> wow, we leveled up again. Honestly, I should actually level up that just some more. Tell you what, next level up, I'll level up FP, and then after that, I'll level up heart. But we're getting a lot of stuff. So it really balances it out. Nothing. Figure we're gonna need to check every nook and cranny, cause like, we're not even in the palace yet. Come on, down. Thank you. <laughs> that was off. Awesome. What the heck? Hmm. No! What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me! Imposter, who are you really? Tell me your name. I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? What? It's impossible! I'm the one and only Cooper. You're talking crazy. Talk now. You make, you're making no sense. I'm the genuine Cooper. Come oh, Mario, you know me. This guy's a big liar. Not lying, Mario. You know I'm Cooper, right? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, goody goody. I'm his buddy. Yeah, that's it. Why you? You're the one who should shut his mouth. I'm his buddy. Listen, moron. I mean, er, Mario. You have to be listening. You have to decide who's lying. It's the only way. Pick the only one you think is lying. Whack him really hard with that, the hammer. Fine, yeah, fine with me. You think you're gonna give up it? A trick like that? Fine. I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. Well, obviously, the true fake one is you! Oh. Yeah, what made you think that I was the one lie, huh? You must have been real luck. No one has instincts like that good. Don't be such a crybaby. He lost. What were you thinking trying to trick Mario like that? What? Shut up! I'll trick you! You'll trick me? That's supposed to be a threat? Ow, my face! Sheesh! 
guys have a lot of health. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you, you can't kill these guys in one turn. You gotta, like, freak in here. God, ugh, it's so hard to get to the top. I like that Evie goes, Bo? No, not Bo, you idiot. She's right next to me. Come on! Okay. I think she does 12 damage if you land it fully. That's what I'm counting. Ah! Oh, I, was, I was trying to hit him before he hit me. Ew! Ow. Here, I'm gonna count it. Ah, so far. Okay, so that's pretty good. Like, he was at like 12, and that went down to 4. Okay, what's up here before we get. Ooh! Uh, hmm. I think we should level up Goombario. No, wait, wait, Karen didn't get any love. No, hmm. Here, Goombario. Yeah, after a while, I kind of just stopped using Paracarry. <laughs> okay, so I believe. Really? Here. Yeah, they're offering you items, but I'm way here. And they put this in your way. Okay, gotta blow up you. Ugh, now what's happening? Hey, he looks just like Merlin, but as a girl. At last, this is Mario. I'm glad he found this place. I've been expecting you. Oh, do you find it strange that I know of you? My name is Madame Murr. I'm a manager of the stars. You know Merlin and Merlinwell. Well, I am their ancestor. The stars speak to me as if through my dreams. They said you would come to the shrine on Shiver Mountain. It is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. We have little time to waste, so listen carefully. Miss, you may not notice, but the followers of Bowser have invaded Crystal Palace where stars are honored. Now, while well, I have to tell you, it's very important, so listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole story. In the interest of time, I'll be brief, so pay attention to the key points. The story begins a long, long time ago. I was still- Oh! I was still a young woman back then. A horrible thing happened on the mountain one day. I ran there immediately, and- But, it was actually- Oh, such a sight. I was, and it was so- Mario really fell asleep right there. It was, it was not her. So then, then I <laughs> again. Two hours later. <laughs> so 
so that's why you must get Bowser's men out of the Crystal Palace, but hey you! Were you even listening to my story? <laughs> well, okay then. As I was saying, you need the Star Stone to reach the palace. I'll give it to you. This stone can open the way to the Crystal Palace. Let's go on, make haste. Hmm, do you think that you understood my short version of the story? <laughs> uh, I think Mario's good. It really doesn't do the story justice, you know. Perhaps one day I'll tell you the full story. Until then, good luck. Well, we got this. And Mario nearly passed out from exhaustion. Seriously, why is everyone telling Mario such long stories? But yeah, the second this palace opens up, I'm gonna call it a wrap, cause I had to do editing, but we're probably around 20 minutes at this point in time. It rises. You know, I wouldn't feel comfortable walking on this because it looks like it's made of solid ice. Like, what if, what if you trip? You'll end up breaking your neck on this stuff. Well, look, Mario's jumping in it, no problem. Oh, you again. <laughs> Ugh, why are there so many enemies in my way? Actually, hang on. Let's kill them all, though? Here, we're gonna test something. We'll have you blow them up. Yeah! Okay, they all have five. We're good. Eat lightning, suckers! Man, we're getting a lot of XP. Ooh, and a new block. The Mega Jump. How much does the Mega Jump cost? Uh, it costs free. <gasps> it costs six points. Oh, we're gonna test this out later. I was gonna say, like, it might be best to save you for another time, but you cost six points. It must be very valuable. Wait, this is the save point right here. Okay, we're gonna end stuff here. And remember, like, share, subscribe, press the bell, get notified. And I'll see you guys more, more Paper Mario. Bye.